Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and probate attorney in New York. Today's topic, the thousand foot view. I had a couple of consultations today and in speaking with uh, the clients, got me thinking about how to explain things. So, or as I was explaining things, I got to think about how I actually phrase the uh, the information about uh, estate planning documents. So let me give you the thousand foot view. We're up in a helicopter and we're looking down. As an elder law attorney, an attorney that deals with uh, our senior population, people thinking about end of life decisions and how to formulate an estate plan. We utilize documents to effectuate the plan. So it's either a trust, a trust-based plan or a will-based plan or a combination of the two. I don't ever suggest neither. And we're gonna use a trust or a will And sometimes both, oftentimes both. The trust is a will substitute. It's a, a document that takes, and, and both, I'll speak about both documents, the last will and the trust, be it an irrevocable trust or a revocable, revocable trust. Those items are essential to an estate plan and it takes assets that are owned by this generation and it gets it to the next generation. It speaks to the issues of taking what a person has and acquired during their life and passing, passing it on to beneficiaries. Now, besides those documents, they, um, adequately perform the role assigned to them. In addition to that, I think people need more. They need more answers and more solutions to the problems that they may face. So I counsel clients as part of a complete package to have a durable power of attorney, a healthcare proxy, and a living will. And those documents address different needs. The will is a fine document. However, it doesn't, it has no present day value. Uh, I phrased that poorly. It doesn't have present day force and effect. It has plenty of value. It's kind of like an insurance policy a different context, but just by way of example, you own the policy now, you pay for the policy now, but no one receives money from it until your death. Same with a will. It's a legally valid document now, when executed properly, but it has no force and effect until the death of the person, and then it has to be probated. The trust, on the other hand, does have present day force an effect, present day value. It can uh, take over in the event of incapacity. It provides, at least the irrevocable, provides present day asset protection. But the other documents that I have, the healthcare proxy, the living will, and the durable power of attorney, have, they have uh, strength and effect in different places. So that's all for now. If you would like to speak about your estate planning needs, please go to frankbrunolaw.com.